This week's movies, he The Face of Love, Bethlehem, Joel. and Grand Budapest Hotel. Have you ever been questioned by the authorities? Yes, on one occasion. What, what, what? I was arrested and tortured by the rebel militia after the mm-hmm. desert uprising. Right. Well, you know the drill then. Zip it. Wes Anderson's eighth feature film, The Grand Budapest Hotel, follows the story of a foppish concierge and his lobby boy. In his review, A.O. Scott writes, The film will delight his fans, but even those inclined to grumble that it's more of the same patented whimsy might want to look again. Mr. Anderson possesses a distinctive sensibility and a consistent visual style, and there are very few American filmmakers with the ability to articulate such an original, idiosyncratic vision. This movie makes a marvelous mockery of history, turning its horrors into a series of graceful jokes and mischievous gestures, embracing nostalgia, but also working through it to capture the vitality and peculiarity of a vanished world. I knew there was something fishy. We never got the cause of death. She's been murdered. And you think I did it. Hey! Stop! Oh, you have company. Let's meet him. What's his name? I, I just want you to accept him. Hi. I'm Tom. Oh, my God. Summer. You. Now stop. What are you doing? Nikki, I'm going. Garrett, please! In the face of love, Annette Benning plays a grief-stricken widow who finds new love with a man who looks remarkably like her late husband. In her review, Manola Dargis writes, Sometimes it's best to forget a movie's story and instead just concentrate on everything else or whatever you can. A director can edge into your consciousness with how well the actors are making the thing work. I don't really know you. You don't really know me. I guess your heart's broken. But I don't want to let you go. Miss Benning's character would be irritating if she didn't breathe believable life and contradictory emotions into the role. She and Mr. Harris easily hold the movie together, but there's no <laughs> doubt that Miss Benning could also prop it up all by herself. Am I your muse? Wait and see. Bethlehem is a drama about the relationship between an Israeli anti-terrorism operative and a Palestinian teenager. In her review, Manola Dargis writes, This is a story of attraction and repulsion as familiar as Cain and Abel. If the movie itself feels somewhat different than others that touch on similar themes, it's because it isn't selling the usual lessons. It's emphatically political, yet the movie's ideas are more complex than is suggested either by its schematic story or fast-moving genre elements. The filmmakers play up the shared humanity between the two main characters, but they don't settle for palliatives. Each side is wrong, each side is right, each man is brutal. 